Mei Li has been a doctor for over 20 years. There is little he hasn't seen or done. Though at ease in the operating room, he is always focused, always precise. Dr. May has performed countless C-sections. The only difference now is that he is miles away from his home in China, performing surgeries in Cape Verde off the west coast of Africa. China's history of bringing medical assistance to Africa dates back more than 50 years. Our province of Sichuan has been providing aid to Africa for at least 40 years. So for me, it's like I'm continuing that legacy. I was inspired by my mentor, who trained me 20 years ago. She was the first ever captain of the Chinese medical mission to Cape Verde, and she told us a lot of positive stories. Even though she has since passed away, I have never forgotten that. As the captain of the 17th Chinese medical mission, Dr. May has an important role to play as a mediator, leader, and advisor. At home, he is a mentor, a guardian, an older brother a crucial job for a team so far from home. We flew from Chengdu to Guangzhou. That took us two hours. From Guangzhou, we flew to Dubai. From there, we headed to Lisbon and then proceeded to Praia. In total, it took us two days. From a map, you could see very clearly that Cape Verde is the furthest African country from China. The doctors live together in a special residence that's housed Chinese medical teams since 2005. Here, they rear chickens and grow their own vegetables, including Sichuan's trademark chilies, a special reminder of home. The team spends much of their free time together, even learning Portuguese, crucial to communicate with their patients. We had six to eight months of language training in Sichuan, but there is a big gap between the training and the reality, especially with the local Cape Verdean Creole. But of course the hardest part is missing home. For most of our team members, this is their first time overseas. Many have never spent so much time away from their families. Many have never experienced living abroad for more than a year. So our greatest concern is still getting homesick when we think of our children and our parents. <laughs> Dr. May misses his daughter the most. As the team grapples with this new world, Dr. May works to ensure that the home environment keeps the team happy and healthy in both body and mind. I worry about the psychological health of the team members. It's happened before in previous missions, where someone might have a breakdown and struggle to control their emotions. And I worry about their physical health as well, as they are exposed to contagious diseases. For the 2017 Chinese medical team, this is just the beginning. No doubt the next two years will come with challenges, but these doctors face the future with confidence and pride, knowing the work they do here is truly making a difference. After lunch, Dr. May translates a quote emblazoned on the common room wall. Fearless in the face of hardship, willing to sacrifice, heal the wounded, and rescue the dying. Great love knows no borders. This is what defines the Chinese medical team spirit, Dr. May tells me. Lindim Tongana, CGTN, Prior, Cape Verde.